course we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. When exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Bells? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? You can drive. And where exactly are we going? You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. How can I help you boys? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Come on, guys, get lost. I've got marks to chase down. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? Hallmark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. 
We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. You got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. It certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Someone was trying to get her to come home. Could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Shit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind. I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Don't hit him. 
you uh, went through her Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hopheads. Can you drive to this one? Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in vice cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Picked a prize shithole for our first date. I just want a quick look, is all. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. Can you go door to door? See how many of the neighbors are home. First thing we did once the apartment was secure. Word is the Vicks kept to themselves. Only time anyone ever saw them was when they went to the joint across the road for some soul food. I'm all done. Your show now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably?
Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. These clowns lived on popcorn? Must have been messy eaters. Another it's all day, over the floor. another dollar. Black Caesar from the joint across the street. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Find Some anything kind of interesting? Fruit, a bell, and win. Strange doodle. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Another special order from the Caesar. Find anything interesting? Street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. A bit heavy for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. One Surrette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Find anything interesting? was JJ. And why do these two care about his taste in music? Looks like it was always going to end this way. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. You can drive. 
All right, where to? Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the oh, deaths. Hand of... over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. the wrong cop, you fucking animals. All right. If you really want to dance. You freaking nature. Ah! You're making me in my park. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. Get the kid's story. He's a small fry, but he could give us someone bigger. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Mm. 
flipping burgers, and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now, I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. He brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bounce, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, OK? Now, you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Hey, you're going to help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice, fresh pillow. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks, ma'am. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are, Jermaine Jones, 238. Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now, you think you can tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, police? Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. 
You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. Is this the best you got? These mugs are dope to the eyeballs. Clean them up quick, boys. I ain't got time for this. Come on, come on! All right. If you really want to dance, Come on, then. Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails...